Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another review. Today, I'd like to show you the O-Ray UHD-44 MVW HDMI matrix and video wall controller. This single product is really three products in one. It's an HDMI matrix that you can use to easily connect four different HDMI media devices to four ultra high definition monitors at the same time while providing complete control over which of those media streams is being displayed on each one of the monitors at any given time by simply tapping a button on the front of the unit using the included infrared remote control or by connecting it to your local network and opening a web browser or through a direct RS-232 connection to a local computer. But it's also a video wall controller with two different modes of operation. In video wall mode, it will combine all four monitors into a gigantic video wall for displaying one of the inputs, or in multi-viewer mode, it actually combines multiple inputs on the same monitor at the same time. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.1 compliant, which means it's going to work perfectly fine with all of your modern media gear. The kit also includes a set of infrared blasters that allow you to mount this inside of a video cabinet and still control the content you're watching, as well as an infrared extender that extends the functioning of the remote control outside that cabinet. Finally, the product also supports both audio injection and audio extraction, so you can inject audio to play alongside any of the videos you're displaying, or you can extract the audio from any of the media streams and then pass that along to a soundbar or a home stereo for that full theater experience. Now, as part of this review, I always like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the unit and I'll explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it. And then I'll come back one more time and explain some of the things that I really like about this particular product that you can use to compare it to others you may be considering. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find the unit. You'll find a single 12 volt, 2.5 amp DC power supply. This end plugs into any standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs directly into the DC port in the back of the unit and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find a locking collar on the end of this. You'll want to finger tighten that to make sure this doesn't pop out of the power port. You'll find an RS-232 cable also included that you can use to connect this to a local computer if you choose to manage it that way. You'll find four infrared transmitters and four infrared receivers that again allow you to extend the remote control of the product outside of a cabinet and you'll find an infrared receiver for the remote control as well. There are RS-232 connections and audio connections included as well as a mounting kit you can use to mount this up off the ground and out of the way. You'll find an infrared remote control you can use to make your selections and a full instruction manual is also included that explains everything you could possibly want to know about the unit, including connection diagrams, specifications, how that graphical user interface works. So you'll want to read through that manual to make sure you get the best quality out of the product. Now, if you stay tuned, next I'll take a closer look at the unit and then I'll come back and point out a few things you can use to compare it to other products you may be considering. The product features a full metal enclosure which makes it incredibly durable and really helps to eliminate outside interference from causing any issues with the sensitive electronics inside. On either side of the cabinet you'll find ventilation slots that are designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape. You'll also find mounting holes on both sides and these can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount this into a standard rack. On the front of the unit starting on the left you'll find a digital display that will provide the status for the unit as well as show you the configuration settings once you enter the menu. To the right of that is a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit, it immediately starts an internal power and self-test where it checks the electronics, and once it passes that test, it'll light that LED letting you know it's ready to use. Below that is an infrared receiver window, and that's where the infrared signals from the remote control are picked up, so when you set this up on top of your media cabinet, make sure that window is visible. If you're going to mount this inside of a cabinet, you'll need to use the infrared extender kit, and I'll show you where that plugs in in a minute. To the right of that are four buttons labeled Output 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then four more labeled Input 1, 2, 3, and 4, and these are where you make a decision on which input is sent to which output. And to do that, say for example you'd like input number 2 sent to output number 3, you would tap 3 first, and then tap 2, and then whatever media device is connected here would be displayed on output number 3 and you can send the same input to all four outputs or set them up as you need. To the right of that are three mode buttons labeled Matrix, Multiviewer, and Video Wall. The Matrix button allows you to control which of the inputs is sent to which of the outputs. In Multiviewer mode, 
you can select one output and have multiple inputs displayed on that single output. And then finally, in video wall mode, all four of the displays are collected together in a large video wall, and you can send one of the inputs to that video wall for display. To the right of that are a collection of six buttons, and I'll start in the upper left with menu. You can tap that and actually go into the menu to make your configuration changes. These two buttons allow you to go up and down through the selections, and once you've adjusted it to where you need it to be, hit the enter button to lock in that configuration setting. To the right of that is a power button. You can use that to turn the unit on and off by simply tapping it. And below that is a lock button. When you tap that, all of these buttons are disabled so nobody can inadvertently make a change to your configuration. On the rear of the units where you'll make all your connections, starting on the left, you'll find two network connections right here. You can connect this to a local area network and then open a browser and you can control the unit through that browser. You can also make a direct RS-232 connection to a local computer using the cable that's included with the kit. To the right of that are four audio inputs on the top over here, and you can inject audio along with the video stream that's being sent to your monitors by using the connections right there. Below that are four IR inputs labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4, and four IR outputs, again, labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. And these are where the infrared blaster kits are connected. Always make sure you connect the right one to the input and the right one to the output. To the right of that is an infrared extender port, and that's a 3.5 millimeter port. And if you need to use the infrared extender kit, that would plug in right here, and you'll locate the module outside the cabinet that you've mounted this unit in. And that allows you to use the infrared remote, again, if this is mounted inside of a wiring closet. On the top on the right-hand side, you'll find four audio output connections, one, two, three, and four. And each of these provide both a digital SPDIF connection as well as an analog left and right. You can use these to connect to home stereos or sound bars to really improve the audio quality. Below them are four HDMI ports labeled input, one, two, three, and four, and four labeled output, one, two, three, and four. The input connections are connected to a media device you'd like to use to display in your output. So each of these are full-sized HDMI ports. Always use a high-quality cable between this and the media device. The four output connections will connect to the four monitors that you'd like to use to display your input choices. Again, high-speed cables here, full-sized HDMI. Finally, to the right of that is a DC input port, and that's used with the included power supply. You'll simply plug that supply into any standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable from that has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there, and you can finger tighten the collar to make sure it doesn't pop out. And then to the right of that is a grounding lug you can use to ground the cabin if you need to. On the bottom, you'll find four rubber feet that help to protect the surface you set this down on and keep it from sliding around during operation. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind when you're comparing the O-Ray UHD-44 MVW HDMI matrix and video wall controller with other products you may be considering. And the first thing and probably most important thing is it's really three products in one because it's an HDMI matrix. It's also a video wall controller with dual functionality. So it can operate as a video wall generator and a multi-viewer all in one product. Now, as an HDMI matrix, it allows you to very easily connect four different HDMI media devices to four ultra-high definition monitors at the same time, while providing complete control over which of those media devices is being displayed on each one of the monitors at any given time. You can display the same input across all four monitors or mix and match the inputs to fit your needs. But it's also a video wall controller, and again, in video wall mode, it will actually combine four monitors into a gigantic video wall that you can use to display any one of the inputs. And the unit has nine different pre-selected modes that are built in that you can hit with the tap of a button. It also operates as a multi-viewer, which will combine multiple inputs on the same monitor at the same time in a picture-in-picture -picture format, and there are 12 different modes available that you can choose from in that multi-viewer mode. The product fully supports 4K ultra-high definition media content and again is both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.1 compliant, which means it's going to work perfectly fine with your monitors and your media equipment. It also includes infrared blasters that provide remote control of the content as well as an infrared extender that allows you to use the remote if you mount this in a wiring closet or a media cabinet. And finally, the audio injection and audio extraction capabilities are important because it allows you to inject audio that will play alongside of a video or extract the audio that you can then pass along to a soundbar or home stereo for better quality audio. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching.